The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff's Entomology Department is advising beekeepers to be on the lookout for a new threat, the small hive beetle. Honeybees have faced several threats in the past, such as varroa and tracheal mites. Now there's another threat beekeepers need to be aware of, the small hive beetle. Here, you can see it near the edge of this frame, trying to get away as the bees converge on it. Beetles are more susceptible to bee attacks in daylight, where they can be spotted as an invader. The beetle was first detected in Florida in 1998 and is said to be a threat to the long-term sustainability of beekeeping and certain agricultural practices through a disruption of pollination. Dr. Young Park is an assistant professor of entomology at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. If you see the larvae, you know, infested, they just say hatched and they damaging the, uh, your, the honeycomb, then separate them and do not mix. Don't, do not wait until the honeybees taking care of them. Park says if beetles infest a beehive, they will lay eggs and larvae, which can destroy a comb. Within two years of their discovery in the U.S., 20,000 colonies were destroyed. He says there are special trays beekeepers can fill with cooking oil to use in trapping the beetles. You just put in the, uh, the bottom, uh, bottom and the inside, you can uh, put it the, uh, the oils in here. And this is uh, just uh, the, uh, the bee, I mean the, uh, the beetles larvae, the, the ready to become the uh, pupate. They have to go outside and then they just digging the soil. So they have to going down and they just, uh, you, know, you know, drop in the oil and then they just die. Park says the beetles do most of their damage at night when bees are at rest, laying their eggs and feeding on the comb and honey. An infestation can take down a colony very quickly. Beekeepers should monitor their hives regularly for the presence of beetles. For more information, contact Dr. Yong Park at 870-575-7245 or email him at parky at uapb.edu.